Discover the new Data Console tab and get an overview of the health of your dataset collection. Explore the different tiles available to monitor and improve the Talent Trust score of the selected datasets. The individual thresholds allow you to define the different requirements of a good score. Learn about the data quality of your datasets, their data types and popularity, the different data quality rules applied and their discoverability. You can also learn more about the usage of the datasets in preparations or pipelines, and the number of datasets shared by you or with you. Try out the data quality rules now available on Talon Cloud Data Inventory. The data quality rules detects anomalies based on a set of conditions to comply with to define data as valid. The rules affects the dataset quality and Talon Trust score. Let's take this rule as an example. Here, if the student status code is equal to 2632 and the student is American, then its scholarship program number must end with 10AB or 10AC and be effective on September 2021. Once this rule is applied to a dataset, you can immediately see the valid and invalid values and fix them to improve its overall quality. Talon now provides a set of new box components, Box V2 components under the Cloud family in Talon Studio. The new components allow you to establish connection to Box and perform various operations to files and folders on a Box server, such as uploading, downloading, copying, moving, and listing files and folders. Among these new Box components, the T-Box V2 input component and T-Box V2 output component provide brand new functions comparing to the existing components. The T-Box V2 input component directly retrieves data from files stored on a Box server. The T-Box V2 output component directly writes data to files on a box server. The new box components can reference files or folders on a box server using their box IDs. With this feature enabled, in addition to using the name to reference a file or folder on a box server, you can also use its box ID to achieve the same purpose. The beta version of the THTTP client component in the Internet family of Talon Studio accesses web services provided by HTTP servers. The component allows you to interact with any web services, such as REST, SOAP, and so on, and authenticate to the web services. A scenario given in the HTTP section of Talon Help Center demonstrates the use of this component. In this scenario, the first THTTP client component retrieves the schema extensions entities from Microsoft Azure by calling a Microsoft Graph API. The second THTTP client component translates the description field to the receive schema extensions entities into French by calling the OpenAI GPT-3 model. And the third THTTP client component stores the schema extensions entities, along with the French entity description, in GitHub as an XML document by calling a GitHub API. As a result, the job retrieves the schema extensions entities, translates the description field to the entities, and writes all the data to GitHub. This figure shows the result documents on GitHub. Talon Studio now supports the dark theme. The dark theme displays mostly dark surfaces across the UI and helps reduce eye strain. To change between dark and light themes, you only need to go to Window, Preferences, Navigate to General, Appearances, Enable Theming, Select the theme you want to enable, and apply your changes. You would get a message at the bottom right corner. Restart Talon Studio. Your changes will take full effect. The customized Git Storage mode is now deprecated. The standard Git Storage mode is now available for general availability and is enabled by default for new workspaces. You can enable the standard Git Storage mode manually for your existing workspace. To do so, you only need to go to the Git Settings view in the Preferences dialog box, select the Enable Standard Git Storage Mode option, and apply your changes. Talon Studio will restart automatically, and the standard Git Storage Mode will be applied to all Git repositories in your workspace. This diagram illustrates the differences between the customized Git Storage Mode and the standard Git Storage Mode. The standard Git Storage Mode follows the standard Git specifications. Enabling this mode optimizes the storage structure and disk utilization of Git repositories, and also ensures seamless interoperability and compatibility with third-party Git tools.